Okay, I'm going to start the process of preparing uh, all the different engine parts to uh, paint. Uh, I'm going to start by, uh, I've already uh, washed and taken all the grease as much as I could off these. That's the uh, uh, oil filter housing. I'm going to now sandblast it in a sandblasting cabinet with some walnut shell. So there's me sandblasting cabinet. Air is coming in. I've got uh, a little suction hose hooked up to a suction motor with a collector to suck up all the uh, excess dust. Just turn the light on. You can see in there, there's the piece I'm going to sandblast. And uh, let's get on with it. Right, so that's after blasting with some walnut shell. Um, I didn't use a grittier substance uh, uh, like aluminum oxide. I didn't want to cause any pitting on the metal. Just clean it because I am going to paint it, that's all. Um, but I'm going to leave the fins uh, polished in uh, metal. So I want to buff them up a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to use a calico brush on a uh, grinder. Uh, with a brown uh, cutting compound very lightly and then I'm going to polish it with a softer wheel, softer polishing wheel uh, and then some white compound. So there's the uh, polished item. I've washed it, dried it. Uh, looks very shiny actually, more than I thought it would for an alloy. Um, and uh, uh, now we'll come to painstaking uh, process of blocking out all the fins with some masking tape so that I can paint and then leave the fins in the metal surface. It's a bit of a pain but I think it'll look great. Um, anyway, we'll show you as it uh, develops. Right, so I've uh, finished taping all the fins around that uh, oil filter cover and uh, it's now ready to paint. That's just some masking tape. And I'm going to do that piece individually. I'm going to be using some high temperature paints, VHT, a primer, and then a metallic black. Um, I've got some of the other engine parts all clean, sandblasted, washed with a pressure washer. Uh, but I'm not going to paint these uh, separately because it, there's a lot of masking and covering to do. Uh, for the inner sections so as not to get any paint on them so I think it might be easier if I paint some of the smaller bits uh, externally especially the ones I want to detail and uh, and then put the engine back together and paint the engine as a whole alright so this is the uh, third coat of primer 10 minutes drying in, be in between So this is the third coat, so we're going to leave it to dry for 30 minutes before I apply the uh, uh, final enamel. Right, so I've waited 30 minutes uh, for this to set and dry and I'm going to apply the first coat of the enamel black and the instructions say that you must apply all your coats, three coats, within 30 minutes, so 10 minutes apart and then allow uh, at least 30 minutes to touch, but 24 hours to cure, and then bake in an oven for about uh, 20 minutes at around just under 100 degrees Celsius for it to uh, chemically cure and bond well to the uh, metal. Here we go.
10 minutes. Second coat. Alright, so this is the last coat. And now we'll let it uh, cure for uh, 30 minutes to touch, but we're really going to leave it for 24 hours and then into the oven. The rest of the engine uh, will get a very similar treatment. And uh, I did forget to show you, but that's the finished oil filter housing with the fins. Uh, there's a little bit of detailing that I want to do just to get rid of some of the little um, bird finish marks between the paint and the metal, but I can do that pretty easily. But uh, that's the look that I was after. The inside is okay. I ended up painting the different engine parts separately. Um, it didn't appear so hard once I started, so uh, there's some of the pieces. And here are some that I've already prepared uh, scraped, washed, sandblasted. thermostat housing that's the old thermostat um, the cylinder heads um, intake uh, manifolds all everything's been cleaned um, washed sandblasted and now I'm going to start the process of blocking out areas that I don't want to paint over so that I can just freely paint the areas that I do want looking good and here they are uh, all taped up ready for painting So I've done the um, um, coarse coats or coarse polishes to get rid of most of the dirt uh, marks but I haven't polished it to a glossy surface. I haven't removed all the little scratches and marks. That's part of the uh, wear and tear of the engine. Uh, I just washed it, washed all the compound of them and I'm going to give it a final buff.
Alright, just going to give it a wash, see what it looks like. So, there it is after washing, and uh, I didn't get rid of all the little marks, which is okay. I just got a nice, clean, slightly shiny surface compared to the what it used to be, uh, which was more like that. Yeah, it's not a bad finish. So the rocker covers are going to get the same treatment now. Yeah, the one I just finished cleaning is the one on the right, obviously. I don't really know how to bring these things back to new. There's still some marks, especially in those um, grooves that I can't really get into, and a lot of little black spots. But then again, I think that looks a lot better anyway. So uh, that's just with the techniques that I showed you before and then giving them a good scrub with some uh, uh, soap and a brush I tried a little bit of toothpaste in there because toothpaste is a bit of a, a, a racy but it really didn't do much so um, yeah 